part two. Let's see what else San Rafael has in their closet. Yeah. Gibson ES5 Switchmaster, great switch on there. But it's small. This was the second fanciest arch top by Gibson, just behind the L5C that we saw in part one of this video. The Switchmaster was a fully electronic version of the L5C. A maple plywood top was used instead of solid spruce to reduce feedback. This plywood construction limits collectability to some degree, but this is a pretty desirable Switchmaster here because of the six control knobs in this cool, funky switch. It has three P90 pickups, which came before humbuckers that were introduced in 57. Unfortunately, someone removed the original finish on this piece, which really affects the resale value. So here we are with six volume slash tone knobs, separate volume and tone for each pickup, a four-way slotted switch on a cutaway belt with a Telecaster-style switch tip labeled one, two, three, and all, and gorgeous gold-plated Grover tuners. Let's see what our appraiser thinks this is worth. With the finish gone, that's the major issue. Is that thing on? Here comes a rare bird. When this case opened, the room stopped for a second because most of the people there had never actually seen one. It's an EB2 hollow body base that was launched in early 1958 as a companion model to the new thin line semi acoustic guitar, the ES335T. This bass was available in several variations, including one and two pickups. This one pickup model was dropped from the line in 1970, but a two pickup EB2D was still listed in price list through 1972. The body is maple with a mahogany neck and rosewood fingerboard. It was missing the tone knob, but the fun part for everybody was what they called a bass baritone push button. The early models had banjo-style planetary tuning pegs that stuck straight out from the headpiece. This one sports the later open gear right angle tuners. The action was pretty high and the bridge needed a major adjustment, but overall it was in really good shape. And the appraised price came in at $2,500 to $3,000. In vintage guitar circles, the term holy grail is used for units that are worth tens of thousands. Most average people off the street are not even aware they own one, and this guitar definitely falls into that category. It's a 59 Mary Kay Strat, named after the first lady of rock and roll, who is also credited as being a founder of the Las Vegas Lounge Act. The Mary Kay features an ash body with a translucent finish, so you can see the wood grain underneath, and gold-plated hardware. The only non-original aspect of this guitar was the installation of a five-way pickup selector switch, replacing the original three-way, which the owner wisely held on to, as evidenced in this case candy collection, which also included the bridge cover, or ashtray as they call it. Just the original case could bring $1,000, so hold on to your hat, because the estimate for this, the first holy grail of the day, is $75,000.